Hello, all of my ons. It's Sinu here, and I have World Fell Silent. And this is actually another game in the scrap pack with uh, Metroj. And there are several games in there. I uploaded another one called Paranoid Fish, and that had a completely different sort of a feel to it. I'm hoping that this one, it, it seems like it is, is more similar to like the creepy feel. Right, the 1st of June. It's almost summer break. You can really notice it on some people in class. Though I'm mostly just happy I can go see my family. The days are pretty lazy right now. Enter to advance text. One or two to answer questions. Escape to quit. People are generally happy this time of year. At least after the final tests. Judging by the partying, they've been celebrating summer quite a few months in advance. Tom. Hey, you went to the party at Jess's last week. I don't quite remember. <laughs> Me neither. I do remember the picture someone took of Jess, though. You seen it? How much you think she had in one night? You mean drinks? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Both. You know what I hate about waking up with some girl. It's when they say they want to spend their life with you or some shit like that. I mean, seriously. Sounds like they had quite a party, as usual. Looks like Sia's been waiting for me. Hi, Sia. Hi. How are you or what's up? How are you? So and so... I don't know. You? Oh, I'm fine. Looking forward to seeing my niece over the summer. You're going home to see your parents, right? Yeah, I guess. Something wrong? No, I'm fine. It's just... Um... What? Can I see you after school tomorrow? Sure, what's up? You know, stuff. Okay, at five outside then? Hmm. And I won't forget this time, okay? Hmm. She has been getting more quiet the last few years I've known her. I know we've been seeing each other less often, but I don't think that's it. She liked me once, after all, though I said no. Maybe the situation is just a bit awkward for her. Then again, she's the kind of person who doesn't say much, but when she does speak, you know she means it. I haven't really seen her laugh lately either. I know she's pushing people away. Old friends she doesn't like anymore, and she doesn't want them to see her happy. It's just the way she works. Like she's afraid of smiling. Not that I'd call her strange, just not very social. Nothing unusual. I mean... I was depressed for a while when we got to the university, but I'm getting along pretty well with the people here. You just gotta avoid the worst bunch. Hell, Sia says she thinks too much, but I even try to figure out what she's thinking all the time. We have these talks a few times a year where she lets things out, though it's always felt like she's held back, afraid of telling everything. I keep saying she can come to me with her problems, and though I can't always help her, she says it makes her feel better. But sometimes, it's like my encouragements don't last very long, or she just pretends they do. During breaks, Sia usually stays in the classroom. I decided to stay with her this time, to see what's on her mind. Hey, you sleeping? Mm, no. How come you're so tired all the time? I was just resting my eyes a bit. You didn't stay up playing again, did you? You know, it's funny, when people get addicted to an online game, they usually stick to only one. You chew up one up every week. They get boring pretty quickly. It's still not healthy. Whatever. It's pathetic. What? You can hear them talking all the way in here. Tom and Jess? Yeah. Oh, I'm writing my essay about gender stereotypes. Never mind, I'm a slut who does everything to get fondled by every guy in class. I didn't actually hear her say that. Yeah, learn to read between the lines. Is something bothering you? Yeah, you know what's wrong. These people, they're disgusting. I thought this was the university. Yeah, these guys are students, it's the way they are. 
I know, just make it, makes it worse. These people are supposed to get a job? And the people out there running their lives were like this in school too? I wouldn't know. I'm pretty sure the ones who don't take the university seriously won't get far though. Yeah, I see it. But I was the be most popular guy in school. What do you mean I'm not qualified? <laughs> Some people... I just feel sorry for them. People are getting back to the classroom. Sia goes quiet with other people around, too. So the conversation pretty much just ended there. I've never seen her so cynical, though. The 2nd of June. After school, I met with Sia as promised, and we started walking to town. We didn't really have a destination. I mostly talked about the school project I'd just finished. Sia didn't say much. She says she likes being with me, as I do all the talking so she won't have to. We eventually arrived at the city park. There didn't seem to be many people here, so we, or I, kept talking undisturbed. Some shouts were coming from a few blocks away. It's only Thursday, so I guess some people start early. Pizza? Do I look like that's all I eat to you? He'd forgotten to empty the bin of fast food cartons, though. <laughs> I was thinking of pointing them out, but... Um... Huh? Sorry to break you off, but can we stop for a while? Oh, sure. There's a bench here. You need to rest? Yeah. Is it your migraine? No. Okay. Alright, what's up? Sia, what's wrong? I... Um, I want to talk to you about something. Sure, I know. <laughs> well, out with it. <laughs> well... <sighs> you know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Well... I... You know, I'm not like all the other people here. I don't feel like I fit in. What? Is that such a bad thing? I don't exactly fit in either. Yes, you do. You have friends. You go to parties. And most of them ain't that great, anyway. Stop. Stop joking. I mean it. I'm not like the sexist drunkard around here. I feel sick just listening to them. Every day I hear something disgusting or degrading. I, I, I just can't stand it. What? What's wrong with people? What's the big deal? That's not my idea of fun. I'd rather be at home in my apartment. I know it's lonely, but, but what else should I do? Uh, well, I mean, you're, now you're being a bit judgmental. Sure, the people here are immature, but they're students, you know. You still talk to me, right? That's because we're friends. I know you. You're not like that. It's not like it's black and white. I'm not perfect either. But you don't stay up to two in the morning screaming your head off on the other side of my wall every Saturday. It's not exactly easy to get some sleep, so I stay up even longer, just sitting by the computer, playing, writing... I don't know. That's why you're so tired all day? Or is there something else? It, it's not my only problem. When I'm at home, the more I'm alone, the more I get to think. I think about all sorts of stuff. I don't... I don't want to talk about it. Come on, you just have to let it out. Just? Yeah, if I could talk away my problems, that'd be great. But I'd never over... I've never overcome them. All the little things building up. I know it's stupid, but it's like... It's... Like, it's all still there. It's just sitting there, and I can't let it out. You know, you know, you haven't seen me angry, right? I don't think a lot of people have. Well, I don't think so, no. I'm scared of getting angry. I... I'm scared of myself. Sometimes I get angry at some game, or when the computer crashes and eats my writing, you know? And I start punching things, I hit myself on the arms, or on the head, or it doesn't hurt for more than a few minutes, but I just don't know why I do it. I don't hate myself, I don't want to hurt myself, so why? 
It's like all the anger is still inside me, I just never let it out. When I get angry, I explode. I'm afraid I'll hurt someone. I'm afraid I'll do something... bad. Sia, come on, you couldn't take it out on yourself. Oh, uh, you shouldn't take it out on yourself. I've been through a lot too. I know, I'm not trying to say I've had it worse, or trying to prove something, I just can't handle it. I can't get rid of it. I'm just pathetic that way. No, you're not. I don't expect you to stand up to just anything. Doesn't matter, it's all happened already anyway, and the world's looking like it does. None of these, those are your faults, Sia. Well, least of all, the entire world. I know, kinda stupid to worry about the problems that aren't even mine. You think too much. Ignore it. No, I won't just ignore my problems like everyone else. Just be selfish and drink it all away. Okay, you're being judgmental again. I didn't tell you to drink, and everybody has problems. And they pretend they don't exist. People here are so afraid. It's like they're afraid of reality. They don't want to have anything to do with me, either. They don't... I'd never mention, I'm not interested in anything but emotions, you know, what people would say about that. I thought the guys here were bad, but the girls were worse. Trust me. No one gives a damn about the world, they only think of themselves. Don't be silly, we're all selfish, we're not perfect. What kind of a view is that? I'm not like that. I didn't mean... I know what you're trying to say, but I just... I just want to make the world a better place, that's why I'm still here. But I've given up, people don't want to change. Who am I to say that I'm right and they're wrong anyway? Nothing is ever going to be better than this, it's just horrible. I know, you think I worry too much, but someone's gotta do something. Someone's gotta stop and think, what the hell are people doing? No one can change the world. You can't do everything. But it's the meaning of my life. It doesn't have to be. It's too much for anyone to bear. That's not what I meant. I'm not trying to change the world just like that. I'm just trying to make a difference. Just a small one. Just anything. But I can't. The world's just getting darker every day. Like, it's getting stupider. Someone like me, I have no place here. It's no use. I know it sounds stupid, but, you know, you can't fight evil. I can't fight the ignorance. I can't do anything about the hate. Prejudices and hate, empathy, their lack of empathy, the way people are, what they think is the only way to be. Thanks for the talk. Any time, but... I know, I know there's not much you can say to help, but... You don't have to apologize, it's okay. I, I just have to stop thinking so hard about everything. Still, it's just that our talks aren't helping anymore. What do you mean? I still don't know what to live for. Only words. Words don't help me. I don't know what will. Sheesh. I know you're trying. I know you care for me, but I don't expect you to know the answers to my problems. I don't demand that of you. I guess I just shouldn't have told you anything in the first place. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You need to let them out, or they'll just get to you, you know? Yeah. You want a hug? Mm. If it's still okay. Of course, don't be silly. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Okay. Feeling better now? Yeah. You mean it? Yeah. Alright, see you tomorrow? Mm. Sleep well, you need it. Mm. See ya. The 3rd of June. Sia hasn't been in school today, as usual. Though she has a lot to think about, she still needs the education, you think. After school, you head over to her apartment, but she's not at home. 
The door is unlocked, though. After knocking, you go inside. No one seems to be here. There's a folded paper on Sia's bed. The world fell silent. The weak are not wanted in this world. The ones who see the problems all around them and want to do something about it. We are pushed down by the egotistic idiots who look down on us. I don't fit into their extremely narrow worldview. Whatever I had a problem, I used to tell people about it, but they didn't want to know. They ignored me and pretended everything was fine. As the people around me grew colder, I stopped talking about my opinions and feelings. It didn't seem to matter as I was brushed aside with fleeting comments of needing help, medical treatment, or just getting a life and a boyfriend. Like racism or homophobia aimed towards people they would rather deny exist, no one seemed to understand I was a human being, that my thoughts and feelings were not a call for attention. Some say you should travel and meet new people, but every time I've done that, my faith in humanity has only worsened. Just turn on the TV or open a magazine and tell me what you see. Tell me about the twisted lives people are living, what they really care about. War, death, murder, rape, holier than thou, lies and abuse. It's human nature, I'm no different think it's bad where we live, you should see the rest of the world, but I've seen enough. I've seen enough. So, no one should have to burden themselves with all the world's problems. No one should have to think they can make it all better. It's a horrible world, but there's still happiness to be found. If you tried your hardest, I'm sure you would have made it. You already changed me. That's enough. There are people who cared for you. I just didn't understand myself well enough to help you. What made my own life worth living? I judged you as well. I didn't see what was going on. Then again, I guess you didn't want to be helped. I hate to say it, but you were wrong and prejudiced about as many things as everyone else. But I still can't fault you. I know everything you went through with no one by your side. I know you were alone and depressed. Despite who you were and what you experienced, that's life. It's tough, but it's the only life we have. I'll never accept your choice. I forgive you now, two years later, but I'll never accept that. And I don't dare think about whether it ever was your choice. Or if people slowly molded you into this since the start. I don't know if it's right calling people out just because we don't agree with them. But thanks to you, I'll never let anyone step on me. I just hope you knew. There was nothing wrong with you. There was nothing wrong with you. So, Yans, what did you think of World Fell Silent? I thought it was an incredible journey, to be honest. I find games to be the best when they truly have a good story to them and they really pull you in and this did that exactly it was truly a work of art not only a game and this more than any of the other games i'm really interested in hearing your opinions because i just i am amazed by this i didn't expect to find a game that was so in depth in just touching like that in a scrap pack of games. So please let me know what you thought. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. You love the episodes where I knock one out, and I know this was pretty long, but we're celebrating 600 subscribers, so yeah, let me know what you thought. This is probably pretty similar to Raptus, and I know you guys enjoyed that, so I'm just rambling on and on. I'll let you guys go. Have a wonderful day, all of my owns out there, and don't forget to feed your pets, and remember, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs>